All right, today we are going to be talking about integers. Okay, um, you took your pretest yesterday on integers. Um, your class average was a 54%, which I think is amazing because it means we have a lot of room to grow. Okay, um, so we're going to be talking about integers and number lines. We're number lines. We're also going to give real life examples of integers. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to do eight one and eight two today. We're going to play integer war. And your homework is 8-1 and 8-2. Right. Ben? It's over integers, yes. Yeah. Okay? All right, here we go. On your guiding notes, we're going to go ahead and start with the key concept up top. This is pretty basic, but we do need to talk about it. Okay? Positive numbers. Positive numbers, numbers to the right of zero are positive numbers. Numbers without a sign symbol are assumed to be positive. Okay, so if it's just a number, it's probably a positive number. Okay, we're assuming that. Okay, negative numbers. Numbers to the left of zero are negative numbers. Um, Negative numbers are written with a negative sign uh, before the number. If you look at the number line up on the board, please use that um, throughout this whole lesson, um, or um, all of topic eight and nine. Okay, that will be helpful. Okay, zero. This is really important. Is neither positive or negative. It's its own thing. It's the only number. That is not positive or negative. Nathan? Are, are, are decimals negative? Are decimals negative? Great question. What do you think? This is a huge misconception. A lot of people get this incorrect. It's a decimal, so 0 0.38. Is this a negative number? True. No. no, it is not a negative number. Because if you look at a number line, here's zero, here's one, here's a negative one. Where does zero and thirty-eight hundredths fall? Ethan? Good. To the right of zero, it'd be somewhere right here, meaning that it is a positive number. Good question. What about three fourths? Positive or negative or neither? Ben. Three fourths. J. It is positive. Three fourths would fall right here in between zero and one, making it a positive number. <coughs> okay. Are we good with that? Yeah. The only number that is neither positive or negative is zero. The only Negative numbers are the ones that have a negative sign out in front of it. Okay. So what about is this positive, negative, or neither? Noah? Negative. It is negative. This is to the left of the number line. It'd be somewhere right here. To the left of zero on the number line. Okay. Are we all good with that? Okay. All right. Next, you have opposites. Two numbers that are the same distance from zero on the number line, but in opposite directions are called opposites. Someone give me an example of an opposite. Becca. Good. Four, negative four. That's an example given to you already. What's a different one? Graydon. Good, two, negative two. Javen. Good, six, negative six. What is the opposite of 3,400,000? Easton. Negative. Perfect, okay. 
and opposite is just the same distance from zero, just going opposite directions. Good with that. All right. All right. So then the definition of an integer. An integer or integers are the set of positive whole numbers, their opposites, and zero. On your paper, below integers, give me five different integers. Write them on your paper, right here below the word integers. Okay, who has some integers for me? Some examples. Ben? Um, a line, giving a minus sign, means a number to a line. We're not going to get into that yet. That's called absolute value. Okay, we'll be doing that soon. Okay, do you remember that from your pretest? Or do you see it on the pretest? Yeah. Okay. We'll talk about that later. That has, they have something to do with integers, but we're going to do that later. Nathan, what's just an example of an integer? Uh, one and negative one. One, negative one. One is a positive whole number. Would we agree? Okay. Its opposite is negative one. Because they are both integers. Ian, what's another one? Two and negative two? Okay, 10, negative 10. Jay? One half and negative one half. Okay, it's a good one to go over. One half and negative one half. What is the definition of an integer, Jay? Read it on your paper. What does it say an integer is? Can you read out loud? Integers are the set of positive whole numbers. They're all and zero. Good. So positive whole numbers, they're opposites and zero. So is a half and negative a half integers? No. No, why not? Natalie. Perfect. They are not whole numbers. These are fractions. These are proper fractions. They are not integers. Does anyone know what these are called other than a fraction? Oh. Nathan? Okay. Not per se. Those are rational numbers, which we will deal with tomorrow and Monday. They're called rational numbers. Okay. Um, is zero an integer? No. Yes. yes. Read the definition. Everyone, quickly, read the definition. Is zero an integer? Yes. yes. If we are saying no, you're not reading the definition of what an integer is on the paper. Integers are a set of positive whole numbers, their opposites, and zero. So is zero an integer? Yes. 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 It is. Okay. Any whole number. What do you see on a number line up there? All those are integers. They're all whole numbers positives, and their opposites. All those numbers up there are integers. Questions? What's the opposite of 15? Brayden? Good. What's the opposite of negative 13? Easton? What's the opposite of negative 13? 13. Good. What is the opposite of zero? Noah. Zero, right? It doesn't, it doesn't have an opposite, really. Okay, It's neither positive or negative. Okay, we have some situations here we're going to go over. This is probably the hardest part of integers is determining what the integer is. Given a situation, making the right integer. Okay, so this is on your paper. I want you to go ahead and solve A. B, C, and D. All right, five degrees below zero. What is the integer that represents that situation? Easton. Negative five. Awesome. A gain of eight yards. Nathan. Eight. Eight. It is positive eight. You gained it. You're starting at zero. You gained. You're going to a positive. Jaden, a loss of six dollars. Negative six. And three steps backwards. Noah, negative three. Okay. Okay. 
Where does it go with that? Also, I'm using number line to help you with that. Is this a number line? Yes, this is a number line. It's just what type of a number line? What is this called? Beckham. Good, that is a vertical. The one given to you on your paper is a horizontal. And they both work. In a vertical one, positive numbers go up. Think of a thermometer, okay? And the negatives go down. Okay. All right, go ahead and answer um, part three there. And I want you to draw or put a line, an arrow, where Mount Everest would be. In this picture, where would Dead Sea be? And where would sea level be? So make some points. All right, we're doing this. We first need to figure out what is sea level. Can someone come up to the board and point to where sea level would be? Ben, go ahead. You go up to the board, point to it. If you don't want to, I can find somebody else. Okay. Sean, go ahead. Perfect. That is exactly where sea level is. Sea level is where the, at the top of your water. What integer represents sea level? Great. Perfect. Zero. It's sea level. All right, where would you put your point? Where would Mount Everest be on this mountain? Javen, who wants to point where the Dead Sea would be? Nathan. Okay, Javen's going to point to Mount Everest. Where for the very point of it, which is, there you go. That is Mount Everest. Dead Sea's at the very bottom of it, okay? So why is this Mount Everest? What is your keyword up here that tells you that this is Mount Everest? Becca. The highest point on land. Okay, that does help. But what's the keyword? There's another keyword. In. Above what? Above sea level. So here is sea level. We know we have to be above Mount Everest. Okay. Here, down here we have the Dead Sea. And what's the key word for the Dead Sea of figuring out where that is at? Wait a minute. The below sea level. This is the key word we need to know. Good? All right, perfect. Turn it over. All right, something important a number line. Okay, in that part one there on your guiding notes, it says, remember this symbol. What's that symbol called? Nathan. I wouldn't raise your hand if you don't know the question. Okay, what's that first symbol in that paragraph? It says it on there, Nathan. What's that first one say? Drew. Greater than. Okay. Um, the symbol, the next one is a less than on the number line. Um, the numbers increase from left to right. So looking at numbers on the number line, the farther right you are on a number line means it is smaller or larger number. Jamie, that's, I wouldn't do that. The farther right you are on a number line, the number gets bigger or smaller. Noah. Bigger. It doesn't matter if it's negative or positive. The farther right, so negative 17 and negative 11. Which one is greater? Jay. Negative. negative 11 is greater than negative 17 because it's farther right on the number line. Okay? Negative 17 is farther from zero, meaning it's a smaller number. So it's going to the left. Is so everyone good with that? It's a kind of an easy concept because you could look up on a number line and determine if it's greater than or less than just by seeing if it's farther right on the number line. Okay. 
So go ahead and under that part one, you have these questions. Go ahead and put greater than or less than symbols in to make those statements true. Okay. A, what symbol goes in? Less than or greater than? Javen? Less than. Now we read it. Six is less than nine. Think back to your alligators. The alligator eats the bigger number. That's how I always remembered it. Okay. B, greater than or less than symbol. Noah? Less than. Negative eight is less than negative five. Negative five is farther right on the number line. C, negative three, negative four. Nathan? Greater than. Greater than. Negative three is farther right on the number line. Perfect. D, Javen? Greater than. Positive numbers are greater than negative numbers. E, Drew? Less than. Less than. Perfect. Zero is greater than negative numbers. It's farther right. And the last one. Easton. Okay, make sure we're paying attention. Negative seven is farther right than negative nine. Those are correct. We good? All right. We're rolling through this. All right. During January in Montreal, Canada, the temperature at 1 p.m. was negative 8 degrees Celsius. The temperature at 11 p.m. was negative 12 degrees Celsius. Write an inequality to compare the two temperatures when was it warmer. An inequality is a greater than sign or a less than sign. So find a neighbor. Write in inequality and tell which one's warmer. Go. Inequality, did you come up with? To make this true. Tom. Can we agree with that? Okay. Can we use, uh, I do agree with it. Negative 8 is farther right than negative 12. Is there a way we can use the less than symbol? And still make this true. Ian. Exactly. Okay. Both of those work. It does not matter which is Okay, so at what time was it warmer? At what time? Back up. 1 p.m. it was warmer. Great. Okay, good with that? Let's go to the next one. The temperature at the start of a cross-country ski race was negative 8 degrees Celsius. The temperature at the end of the race was negative 2 degrees Celsius. Write it in any body to compare the temperatures. What was colder? Any thumbs up if you agree? Okay, what's another one you can write? We can only write two of them. Then. Awesome. Both of the work. Okay, so what, um, what time was it colder? When was it colder? At the beginning of the race start. Okay. All right. Nice job. Last question, then we'll go to our game. All right. It says the table shows the number of yards gained or lost by a high school football team during the first play of each game. Order the results of the players from least yards to the most yards gained. This is where you need to be careful. We're going from what? Least to greatest. And that is the problem with the greatest to least. 
So we go ahead and order these numbers in order for me to get. Which one is the least ordering a J? Good. Negative 10 being number one. Okay, what's the next? No. Negative four. Awesome. Second. Negative one. Ethan. Three. And last Nathan. Five. Five. Okay. Uh, again. All you have to do is look at the number line. The farther right you are on the number line, the larger the number. Huh. That's fine. Any questions on injured that went over to that? What is an injured? Sean. Okay, integer war. You can play this with someone. Um, we're going to play the partner in here. I'll explain how that works here in a second. But for online learners, you can just play with a um, family member or friends or adult. Okay? How it works, go into Google Classroom, under class websites. We're going to click on the deck of playing cards. Link. You're going to get this, this page. Everything should be clicked correctly. You don't need to click anything other than draw cards. This is just like war. We've played war before, right? The card game. This is just integer war. The only difference is black cards are positive numbers. Red cards are negative. You've ever heard of Black Friday, right? The day um, after Thanksgiving. It's called Black Friday because that's when most stores go into the positive. We've actually started making money. Okay? So that's where you get the positive. Black positive, red, you're in the negative. So what you do is, in normal war, we would just both flip up a card. And um, whoever has the higher number takes it. Right? We're not playing with playing cards normally we do. What we do, what we're going to do is just on your guided notes, you and a partner will both hit again, and then just mark who has the higher number to figure out who has the most at the end of class. Okay? Um, black positive, red negative. Um, it goes aces are worth one. Okay, so um, this right here is a positive one. A red ace would be a negative one. There is no zeros. It's the only thing about this. Um, it goes 10, jack, queen, king. In that order. Okay, J. Yes. Okay. All right, find a partner. Got it. All right, remember, on a number line. The farther right you are, the larger the number. 